11, 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Upper South Long Lake, or 11 miles southeast of Brainerd, moving northeast at 15 miles per hour. So here we are at 2.15 in the morning and power's out in our camper. And, and I'll show you why. If you look around, we have a power line down right there. Probably can't see it, but right there. Power line is down. The only reason that we saw it was that I needed to go out and uh, I needed to go out and it's like Blair Witch Project. I needed to go out and switch the LP over because um, when the power went out, we had to um, we didn't have refrigerator power. So I went out and I noticed that last night the gas went to a fault for turning on the um, water heater and so I went out to uh, switch it over and then I noticed the power line down and I didn't go out obviously because the entire ground is soaked because this is our second storm uh, in a row tonight. The awning is up as you can see. What's going on? We're in the Minnesota baby. When it rains it pours. It's really scary. Like, you're, I, I can tell you're you're calm, but you're like processing the whole thing, you know. But for me, I'm just sitting here thinking, if you had just run out there to switch the propane over, I mean, you would have walked out there with a live power line on the ground, right? But I do remember your brother talking about how if there is a power line down, that you're grounded and you need to you know with your feet kind of shuffle them backtrack if you're trying to get away from it but I mean how scary like thank god you saw that out there and then we have some service staff people here you know college kids and what if they would have come out in the morning or whenever and walked across here like yeah. You're, you're pretty calm right now, which well, is good. You, know, you have to be, but yeah. like, it's scary. You know, look before you step. You know, we didn't know what was down out there. We didn't know if there were trees down and shining light back and forth and, oh you know, make sure that nothing was down and um, you have bright flashlights and it's one of the best things to have with a bright flashlight. It's really scary. I hope they can get here soon to... You know, yeah, otherwise we're know. stuck. We're yeah. stuck in the camper, which is okay. At least we're not dead. Right. <laughs> you know. Yeah. We'll get through it. I will check the National Weather Service website. We're That's on right. the we're on the weather radio yeah. right now. I was sleeping 
and then all I heard was the cabin shaking from the wind and then I got really scared. The following attempts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile arms will be damaged or destroyed. Pretty, pretty bad storm. Took a couple things out. A lot of trees fell down, and a tree fell on my car. That's correct. And uh, there was a bunch of trees down everywhere. Okay. So you're basically everything around here is just trees. Yep, a lot of trees everywhere on the ground. Yeah. Do you know and how to run a chainsaw? Not efficiently. No. No. Not <laughs> efficiently. <laughs> no. A bunch of trees down. A bunch of hanging branches and uh, power line down. Down there, were, I could hear the trees outside coming down around us and I, I stayed up until about 3 a.m., 4 a.m. watching the weather radar until it all had passed and you know I was mostly afraid for my daughter who was, who was only 11 months you know in the cabin with me so. I could hear trees kind of falling around our cabin and huge branches falling and uh, lightning was striking a few trees around us because next morning uh, you could see the trees were black and hollowed out and so throughout the night I was you know, I hope to God a tree doesn't fall on us because the cabin is, it wouldn't support, you know, a tree falling. And so, you know, and it was bad enough to where it's like if we go outside, it's just as dangerous as being in the cabin. What do you, can I ask what you guys are doing? Uh, we're electrical line workers and just repairing outages from the storm last night. Was it a bad storm? I guess so. Quite a bit of outages, so. Do you live up here then? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Peak Lot Lake. Did you guys live power at your house? No. No. Of course not. You're on the power company. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We yep. appreciate it very much. Yeah. Very cool. So it's things like this that you really start to realize how important the personal things are in life and not the material things. It makes you more appreciative for every day. Absolutely. Just the little things that happen every day. Spending time together. Well, we got through it. I'm glad we're safe. I'm glad you're safe.